Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chigo X, and today we're diving into an exciting topic using AI to create an open world game with RPG Maker. Whether you're an, a seasoned game developer or a beginner, this video will show you how to harness the power of AI to bring your RPG world to life. Let's get started. But before we do, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also to hit the bell notification icon to be notified every time I release a new video. I'm trying to live stream every single day of my process and making my exciting new open world RPG. I definitely want to see you guys tune in so you can help me with some stuff and then we could also chat about the game and using the engine. Without further ado, let's get into the video. RPG Maker is an amazing tool that allows you to create your own RPG games without needing extensive programming knowledge. But what if I told you you could make the process even easier and more dynamic using AI? That's what we're going for today. First things first, let's set up RPG Maker MZ. If you don't have it um, yet, you can download it from the official RPG Maker website. Once you have it installed, open it and create, it. create a new project. Now, to integrate AI into our game development process, we'll use a couple of tools. One of the best options is OpenAI's ChatGPT, which can generate dialogues, quests, and even character backstories. Let's see how that works. For dialogue creation, you could use ChatGPT uh, to generate dialogue based on the context you provide. For example, let's create a conversation between an NPC and a player character. Look at that. They, um, the AI creates natural sounding conversations. You could tweak it as, um, as you need and then import it directly to RPG Maker on your show text. And you know, it works the same way. Now let's do the same thing, but like, let's create a quest now. So all we, we would have to do is create a quest. Um, for the lost sword, right? And look at that. And here's the best part about um, the best part about the AI is it's actually learning as you feed it information. So I told it to create a quest for us, and as you can see, it's actually using the information from my universe because I've been feeding it all the information about. Um, my game world so the backstories the timelines the locations and all of that and using that without even thinking it just made a quest for me location is Dawnhaven, um blacksmith forge and a whole bunch of other stuff so using ai definitely helps speed up the process it even gives you the objective the dialogues that you can have um the experiences that you can gain so this actually speeds up the process so it takes a lot of the thinking out of the equation because usually you would think oh what would this do where would this be located how much experience this just say hey get to work and you can get to work so using the same method you could pretty much create backgrounds like i said before quest you could give it as much details as you want you can even use this to create your own custom plugins which is what we'll talk about next Okay, let's say for example, we want to make a plugin that allows you to use the mouse wheel to scroll your, um, you know, inside the game. So what I usually do is I make it as descriptive as possible. So, cause you have limited, uh, it's, unless you have, uh, you pay the $20, you have limited chats, um, using chat GPT 4.0. After that, 
it downgrades to 3.5 which is actually a whole lot worse than 4.0 so for example let's give it the prompt make an actually make a plugin for rpg maker mz called scroll will zoom actually let's go ahead and put ed5 here underscore scroll will zoom right so we're telling it the name then let's go ahead and tell it the functionality the plugin should allow the game to be soon and out okay let's go ahead and hide this because this is bothering me to be zoomed in and out using the mouse scroll wheel and clicking it in should reset the zoom right i want a plugin parameter to set max and min zoom okay uh so make a plugin for rpg maker mz called ed5 scroll will zoom the plugin should allow the game to be zoomed in and ooh. and if you make a mistake it usually picks up the mistake and knows what you're talking about anyways using the mouse wheel um and clicking clicking it in and should reset the zoom I want a plugin perimeter. To, I want a plugin. I want a plugin perimeter to set max and min zoom. Um, is there anything else that we need? Um, if you can make credits, All right, so we added a couple extra prompt because I was actually using another plugin that does that kind of zooms you in, but like when you click around, the mouse kind of remembers your old mouse position. So the walking around with the mouse was just crazy. But let's see what ChatGPT can do for us. See, it's spitting it out, man. And then you have your own plugin. Now, sometimes it might not work out, and then all you have to do, I will show you exactly how to debug it. Um, and literally doing this, you can make any plugin you want. But here's some advice, right? When you're doing the prompt, the first prompt is the most important prompt. Make sure you make it as descriptive as possible and make sure when you do, you're using ChatGPT 4.0 so it can actually give you the whole um, script. As you can see, you copy this, you go into your RPG Maker um, folder, So after you add the plugin to your list of plugins, all you have to do is just add it like you would any other, uh, ooh, you could have folders here. I did not know that, but cool. Um, it's called ED5 scroll zoom or zoom something. Here it is. You click on that. You see how the plugin parameters didn't come um, show up. That's okay. So what we would do now is we will go back to Second, 
So we will go back to ChatGPT and say the plugin parameters didn't show up. Okay. And then it's just going to rewrite it, make sure everything is right. Mm -mm -mm. The longest one, I mean, the longest part about this is just waiting to make sure. I don't know to make sure what, but it's just the waiting part. So pretty much um, tell it what's not working. Can't see the plugin parameters and the zoom isn't working. It's going to re check itself, figure out why it's not working. It's going to also give you some details about why it's not working. Um, but yeah, after you do copy and paste it back to, um, it also helps to have VS code so you could edit the code right away and then save it. Um, go back in the game. I know you guys can't see, but let me just test it real quick just to see if it's working and then I'll show you. Okay. Oh, you guys have to see this. It's kind of working, but I think the zoom is too much. Yeah, the zoom is definitely way too much. Okay. Uh, so this is what's happening when you try to zoom, as you can see, we're getting a black screen. So let's just go ahead and see if the plugin parameters, if they're actually showing up yet. And as you can see, they are. So max zoom. Let's make this one point. Ooh, you guys know my keyboard is broken. 1.5. And the minimum zoom is one. Okay. Let's save this. Let's reload this and see what's going on. There we go. See? Now we just made a plugin that lets you zoom in and out when you're. Ooh. Okay. So we encountered a bug. So what we do is we go. So the bug is you see how it zoomed? When you move, the zoom resets. So all we gotta do is just go back to Chat GPT and say, hey. It's working, but zoom resets when, and then also you have to think outside the box when you're debugging stuff. So zoom and use the keyboard to move. And as you can see, that's not affecting the zoom. It's only when I use the keyboard. I mean, when I click and I think it misunderstood me, I don't mean clicking. I mean like clicking the middle mouse button. So it's resetting when I click. So since that's our issue, so we're gonna say when, um, but reset resets when you left click. It should be middle mouse button. And then um, it's gonna kind of like uh, re-spit out everything else for you. Here's another um, tool for you guys. My bad, because you know you do run out of um, see, um, you do run out of text and stuff like that. So we also have Claude um, AI, which to, for most of the time it kind of actually does better than ChatGPT. Um, but we copy the code, we go back to where we pasted it before, which is right here paste save and then if we go back into the game test that one more time as you can see it's working you click the middle mouse button it's still not resetting oh it resets when you okay that's that one thing i told it to okay so we have some dilemmas that we kind of have to debug, but for the most part, you guys get the gist of it. Um, 
even if you don't know how to um, code, you can come to ChatGPT and make some stuff like this. And using your just your words alone, you could prompt it into making you any type of you know plugins that you want. You could use it to help you make quests. You can use it to make a whole world for you. You can use it to uh, anything that has to be written. You could pretty much have ChatGPT. What was going on here? Why is she in the in the thingy? But you feel me? So pretty much with anything that's chat um that's written, you could pretty much do it with ChatGPT, including the plugins. So you guys have no excuses. Use ChatGPT, start making your games, have it give you game ideas. Just make something fun, something light. Um but yeah, I use it every single day um to come up with like um dialogues like you've seen quests location um places and like i said the more stuff you feed it the more it knows about your game or what you're doing so it could use the old memories to help you um come up with stuff on the fly where you don't have to be as specific as you were in the beginning you could just say hey come up with a quest and it will already know the background of your world and it will use that to make you the quest but without further ado guys i definitely definitely appreciate you guys for tuning in like i said before make sure to hit that subscribe button because it definitely helps me out a lot tune into my lives again i'm streaming live every single day patreon is down below if you guys want to support me buy me a coffee link is also down below if you want to support my games are down below i have made some plugins um they're down below too if you guys want to buy some but i just showed you how you can make your own plugins so it's up to you to do what you guys want to do but let's have fun making rpg maker games and this obviously isn't just for rpg maker it's for any type of engine that you want i'm pretty sure this could write scripts um in c sharp for your um what is that engine called unity and any other thing you want to do so all those roadblocks that used to bug me down and some other people i'm guessing um i don't think those are issues anymore um i think my thingy zooming in is causing a bug in the game because these people are spawning in a weird position and as you can see now they're moved yeah i think when i zoom in and then go back but yeah those are some things you have to fix and work out and a whole bunch of other stuff stuff but you know it's cool thank you guys for tuning in again i'm not keep saying it but yeah peace guys you guys are awesome stay awesome